Hey, look! Gumquats! Marshall loves these. Mmm, so do I. You better make sure it's fresh. Yep, that one's fresh. But the others aren't. You chewed the only good one. Oh, well, I'll just finish this one myself. I mean, hot! <laughs> wow! Oh, I bet Marshall would like that for his birthday. He just loves bugs. You're right, he would. Eh, too bad it's mine. Gee, birthdays are fun, even when they're not yours. Dak, you're supposed to be finding a present for Marshall, not yourself. Is it my fault I can't find anything I don't want? But that's selfish. Yeah, how would you like it if we kept all your birthday gifts? Remember, Dak, the way you treat others is the way they'll treat you. Ooh, good. I like getting treats. Maybe I should treat Dak to a story. What about a cranky, selfish old pterodactyl? Sounds like someone we know. Go for it, Truman. His name was Ebenezer Scrimp. He was a mean old miser who loved money. Lend a hand for charity, Governor. Don't mind if I do. I meant to help the poor, not help yourself. I call the poor attitude. Does that count? No. Ah, okay. Oh, please, don't throw me out. Give me one more day to pay my rent. Now, it was due this morning. But it's cold. I've got nowhere to go. Not my problem, Mum. See you on Mother's Day. Good morning, Mr. Scrimp. Why is the heat up so high in here? It costs money, you know. What's this? A birthday card? It's from me, Mr. Scrimp. Birthdays? Bah, Hubcap! You better not have written this during work hours. No, sir. Good! Oh, and, um, thanks for the gift. But I didn't give you a birthday gift, sir. Yes, you did! I just got your paycheck. I, I know you don't like birthdays, Mr. Scrimp, but tomorrow is Puny Pete's birthday, and we're throwing him a party. Can you come? Can't. I'll be working late. Oh, well, we'll miss you. No, you won't. You'll be here with me. You're working late, too. But, but I can't miss Puny Pete's birthday party. Set a goal, you can reach it. Back to work. Gee, he sure is a grouch. Yeah, but he was about to learn a good lesson. work, Ebenezer Scrimp went home to his big, fancy mansion. When he went upstairs to his bedroom, something weird happened. Uh, what? of his clock. Who, who are you? The Time Fairy. I've never heard of you. I'm here to teach you a lesson. Which one? In time is money? I already know that one. No, that your selfish ways will come back to haunt you. In fact, I'm here to haunt you right now. Hey, let go! Where are you taking me? To show you your past, present, and future. First, your birthday past. A few years ought to do it. Gift ever. A piggy bank. A 
how I loved my piggy. I put my allowance in it every week. I've always been good with money. Yeah, but then one day the money made you go bad. There I am again. What you got in the farm animal? Oh, the money I have in the whole world. Oh, you mean all the money you had in the whole world. <laughs> no, I hated it when that happened. Yeah, and things were never the same after this. You promised yourself you would never be without money again. Oh, look! My first loaning aid stand! You turned into a greedy little miser. Somebody stole my lunch money! Okay, I'll loan you some. Get 50% interest, compounded hourly. Sign here! 50% interest? What was I thinking? I was too generous! Gee, Mr. Scrimp didn't learn anything. Oh, he will. The Time Fairy wasn't finished with him yet. She still had to show him his birthday present. Birthday present? Why is she being so nice to him? No, no, not a birthday present. His birthday present. Huh? 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 Yeah, that makes more sense. What I mean is, she took him back to his present birthday. What are you showing me now? More real estate? Hmm. Looks like a bad investment. It's all Bob Patchett could afford with what you pay him. This is Patchett's house? I knew his paycheck was too big. Not anymore. You cut it in half for your birthday, remember? I'm afraid I can't afford to give you a birthday party, Puny Pete. And we'll have to take back the present we bought you. <coughs> That's okay. As long as we're together, I'll have the bestest present of all. Just know he would have loved this piggy bank. Oh, he would have. I did. How can they be so cruel? You're the one who is cruel. No. Oh, right. Thanks for pointing that out. Wait, there's more. Let's go visit your birthday future. No, no, please. Uh, you know how I hate birthdays, remember? Bah, how can? Wrong again! This isn't my future, it's Bob Patchett's! Take a closer look. Oh! That's me! In front of my counting house! What happened? Your selfish ways came back to haunt you. You lost your business, your friends, and your home. Penny for my birthday! Penny for my birthday! Why, every dino should get something on their birthday. <gasps> I take that back! Every dino except selfish epic geezer scrimp. Bah, hubcap to you! Oh, time fairy! I don't want this to be my future! Can I change it? Only by changing your ways. Then let's go! I've got work to do! so grateful, he gave the Time Fairy a tip. Here, buy yourself a new dress. That one's behind the times. Mr. Scrimp? What are you doing sleeping in? You're late! I am? I've never been late for work. No, not for work. You're late for Puny Pete's birthday party. A birthday party? Oh, do I get the cake and gifts? Sorry, Puny Pete. We don't have enough money for cake and gifts. Don't be so cheap. Oh, wow. But Mr. Scrimp, this is so unlike you. You're right. It's the new me. I'm giving you the day off with pay, and we're having an all-day birthday party. Oh, and here's the other half of your paycheck. Why, thank you, Mr. Scrimp. Here's another half. It's a raise. <laughs> and Ebigeezer Scrimp learned that giving to others feels better than giving to yourself. Well, Jack, you 
feel any different? Yeah. The story was so long my wing fell asleep. It's all tingly and prickly. I think your conscience fell asleep. We're talking about Marshall's birthday present? I know. I just can't decide if this dragonfly is a good enough present for him. I want to give him the best. Now you're thinking. Yeah, that way he'll give me the best present on my birthday. He missed the point by that much.